or right, whatever YouTube. It's the nice thing here back with another video. And this video is gonna be about how just to be an observer of your own life. And when I say your own, like literally like the person that you are, be an observer is that. Uh, I think for the most part, like we always, we know people that's always worried about other people's business and what they got going on. And and they like being like total shambles. I have that to a certain degree, but I think that is really just my, uh, <laughs> I just think that's like my just personality type of thing. I'm just, I'm an analytical person, period. Uh, I analyze myself a lot, but at times when, like, I don't, that's why I don't really like being around people because I have my, my it's like my analyticalness is like a superpower. I can't really, I don't, it's not a superpower. I got good control over, but I'm very good at looking people up and down and just reading them. That's how I am. And it's not like reading, reading, like intuitive. I me, mean, it is partially intuitive, but it's very underdeveloped in a way where I don't really have control over it. And I just read people like automatically. So, and that's, how, and I think that's why I'm so alone of a person because I, I it's when you just read people well, when I read people are just I just analyze people people have a lot of flaws and a lot of people and of course everybody have flaws even me uh but people have flaws that's like not good to like to be like paired with like I can't be around somebody that have a flaw that's like of laziness like I have a problem with that like I said I don't because I'm a very hard-working individual uh I would like when I was younger, I didn't understand it. Like I said, I'm like very much like a robot. I, like I said, I gotta go to work, I gotta go to work. I don't care. I, I'll get up and go to work, even if it's somebody else. That's that's my goal. And right now, I'm trying to shift that and I'm getting up to go to work for myself. I'm trying to start a business for myself. I'm trying to make a life for myself. So I'm get, trying to shift my attitude to, okay, we need to get up every day, no matter if you go to work, no matter if you're tired, to get up and, you know, go to work for yourself and start to develop your own stuff so you can work for yourself and really start to you know be your own person but when i was growing up i was always this type of person like I, I was going to work but i had zero direction i had zero zero direction in what it, i wanted to do with my own life and it kept me stagnant in a way but one thing i one thing i did do no matter what was going on with my life whether it's like you know a family member died or whether my own mental state i went to work you know uh can't say that's good or bad but that's just very it's good discipline that I had in me just to, you know, get up, no matter whatever the circumstances are, to not put my own, like, I got my own stuff into, you know, a detriment. Like, I don't want to mess up anything I got going on just because I'm, I feel something like worse, or the whole, or the whole world is on fire. I just can't give up on myself just because of everything else is going on. And I try to keep this attitude, and I, and I keep the attitude, and I, uh, I'm getting better at it not, and you know, like I said, I'm trying to focus my energy on this YouTube channel and keep moving forward. Uh, yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, be an observer of your life. I'm very much analytical with everybody around me. I don't want no I don't want people that are gonna hold me back. I don't want I don't like like I said, I'd rather be by myself if I don't have no friends that's very or just people around me that's supportive enough to help me push me forward. I'd rather be by myself and just, you know, thug it out by myself and figure it out by myself. And that's usually how I am. Uh until, like I said, I can find some solid individual. I may, I, I may not ever find nobody that's solid, but that's just how I am. So at times, I, I catch myself falling into this habit of like really like deeply analyzing people to the fact where I'm, 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 I'm switching over to the bot area and I'm worried about like what they be doing and like how they, how they became the way they became, and it fully takes me out of like my own little like mindset and my own mind and what I got going on because I'm so like deep in analysis and other people's and other people's problems and like i said it caused me to lose sight of what i got going on now every now and then like i said whenever i feel like i catch catch myself going into that type of mindset i tend to like you know take a step back and just start to analyze my own you know iniquities and all like the flaws and even the pros of myself and just I just try to just try to ground myself and like okay like kevin this is what you got going on this is what you need to work on this is what you're doing good and i just try to be honest with myself during them times like i like, I think that's one thing I've been doing pretty well is I've been starting to detach from uh, just like myself in a way. Like, I'm not at a, I'm starting to like lose my bias for myself. I think that's just detaching. I heard you form a detachment where you just you let go of, you let go of something that's eventually gonna leave anyway. So you just, I forgot who said that, but I got it from a, a dude I watch on YouTube, uh, Matt Zudana. I guess I like his content. He always, he always, he always talks some crazy shit on there. It ain't crazy, but you know, just, See you talking spicy on that bitch though. But yeah, it's just like, it's very just, I just 
becoming very detached with just the real, well, reality, the illusion, whatever you want to call it. But that's just how I am, and I'm just starting to take even what I say, like with a grain of salt. But of course, you know, it's just I'm trying to be objective. I'm trying to be honest with myself, uh, and not allow myself to be deluded. Like that's one thing I don't like is being in other people's delusion. Like I, that's why I, I have a hard time people like being honest with people because I'm gonna be honest to people to a crazy amount, not a crazy amount, but to the to a very like I'm, I'm borderline harsh with it. But I mean it's the truth, and I mean but I don't. But at the same time, I get to this point where just because it's true, don't mean it need to be said. You know, like some people, you, I think you gotta allow people to live in their delusion. You gotta allow people to just live their life in the way that they want to. And I think that's one of the most heartbreaking things about life is that you have to just allow people to go through their life and you can't really you know chime in unless they ask you, you know what i mean they ask you hey go ahead but you have to learn how to detach from people especially like loved ones because i think that's the hardest it's hardest because that you know you love them and you want the best for them but you know they just don't they they don't see it until you know it's too late but yeah so in many ways i would have to just i would just shut everything out and then i would put like the you know the cameras on me and everybody not everybody but everybody metaphorically speaking like will be all the cameras would be on me and i'll just be observing my own life and where i'm going wrong with my own life so i can in, in a way like it crowns me and it, it puts me back in reality so i'm not worried about other people and what they got going on you know so yeah so i would say be observer of your own life just because it helps you improve and like it's 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 very like I said, you need to do it if you want to really succeed with your life. It's like you have to cut out all the distractions because I think just uh, people are just another form of distractions. And I mean, of course, it's more meaningful to have a relationship with people that you love. But it's like people, people and their problems are, like I said, are fickle. And especially when you start to really evolve spiritually, you understand a lot of the, a lot of, like even I get cussed off for this. But it's like a lot of these regular problems are the same problems that everybody has. Of course, everybody's circumstances are different. I, I, don't, I don't think anybody can disagree with that, but a lot of these problems stem from the same fear, guilt, shame, uh, love. Like I said, it just stem, it stem from these same emotions. And in my mind, a lot of these problems have the same solutions. And you would think that adults get it, but adults don't get it. Adults is just as lost as these kids. And they're trying to act like, you know how adults be trying to like talk about the younger generation, like it's how, how is something wrong with it? And reality is that the older generation is just as bad as the younger generation. Like it's so, it's, it's just, like I said, we're just in the world right now full of just people that lack compassion and understanding. And it, it bothers me and it makes me just want to retreat back in even more because I'm just a, I'm, I have a big heart. I don't know where I got this big heart from. Of course the universe gave it to me, but I have a lot of love in it. and. I, I refuse to go out and for people not to understand me and not to appreciate it. Like that bothers me that I wasn't raised in a household full of love and for some reason I got so much of it and I and it's making me fear, you know, who I give it to. And love is not like an intimate I mean it's an intimate thing, but it's also just like a like one form of love is like knowledge. Like that's what I do with this YouTube channel is that whenever I know and whatever I gain in terms of knowledge and wisdom that you know I experienced and gained through my life, I want to share that with people. So you know, people can also just learn from it or just for entertainment. Of course, it's YouTube. We're gonna be entertaining entertainment purposes, but I just want people to see my journey and of course grow with me. And you know, like I said, it's ultimately this is ultimately me trying to like gain a community and just grow a community of people that are like me in a way. You know, so and this is how I'm growing myself and evolving and becoming a leader just becoming a man and just evolving spiritually and just doing what I, I think I'm destined to do which is to teach so this is what I'm doing so yeah yeah I'm I thank y'all for listening to my tangent but if you like the video like comment subscribe and I will see y'all later thank you